I want to go over an article. It is called Charisma, or the website is Charisma News. And the title of it is Three More Sure Signs Witchcraft is Attacking You. Okay. Earlier this month, I went through a massive witchcraft attack. My mind was clouded. My eyes were burning. My body was worn out. People were attacking me with unfound accusations. I had a low-grade headache that lasted for days. I've literally written a book on witchcraft and I did everything I knew to do. In the end, all I could do was stand. I recently heard that the late prophet Bob Jones once said that weeping breaks witchcraft. That's something I intend to study. But one thing I know by experience is that the anointing breaks the yoke. The witchcraft finally broke at our miracle service at Awakening House of Prayer in Fort Lauderdale. As I said in last week's column, five clear signs witchcraft is attacking you right now. I believe witchcraft is one of the powers in the hierarchy of demons. Paul listed in Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12, just as the Holy Spirit is the power of God, witchcraft is a power of the enemy. Witchcraft attacks often start with imaginations. Witchcraft plants seeds of deception through imaginations. These voices tell you things like, what's the use? Nothing will ever change. <clears throat> I can't do anything right. And I don't feel like going to church. I want to be alone. With that said, here are three more signs you are under a witchcraft attack right now. Okay, number one, angry and frustrated. When witchcraft attacks, you may feel angry and frustrated. You feel like people and things are standing in your way. You may get mad at yourself mad at the devil, or even mad at God. You're sick and tired of your circumstances. But what you don't realize is that the enemy is magnifying your circumstances with distorted mirrors and smoke that clouds reality. When this happens, just keep acknowledging the Lord. He will make your paths straight. Proverbs 3 and 6. Number 2. Sickness, aches, and pains. I've told you before that when witchcraft attacks me, my eyes burn. Sometimes my chest gets tight and I get dizzy. Not me. One of my intercessors gets terrible back pain when witchcraft manifest in her life. Another of my friends sees old stroke symptoms return. Sickness is not from God. We have authority over it, but many times we like to grumble and complain and confess how bad off we are when only strengthens which only strengthens the enemy's grip on us the devil brings what jonah 
chapter 2, verse 8 calls lying vanities. Against you to make you think something is wrong. So you'll confess it out of your mouth and open the door for it to settle. Number three. Just plain worn out. If you've slept <clears throat> eight hours, had a tall cup of coffee, and you still feel like you've been run over by a truck, witchcraft could be attacking you. This is one of the ways witchcraft comes after me. I've learned not to give in by laying down for a nap that turns into four or five hours of witchcraft induced sleep. Wow. If you are eating well, sleeping well, exercising well, and living well, and if you are generally healthy, you shouldn't feel like you're walking through quicksand. This could be a witchcraft attack. Eight questions to ask yourself right now. I am not one to beat the air. 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 26. I don't presume to know what spirit may be attacking me by comparing symptoms to a checklist. Articles like these are meant to prime the pump of information that could spark a revelation. Ultimately, we need Holy Spirit discernment to be absolutely sure we're waging warfare against the right demon. The last time or thing we want to do is provoke another spirit to join forces with the real corporate. We need to put the discernment back into spiritual warfare. In my experience, though, these are some practical questions you can ask yourself to help you discern a witchcraft attack. Number one, are you on an emotional roller coaster? rushing from anger to sadness to confusion. You could be under a witchcraft attack. Number two, are you so overwhelmed with your circumstances that you just want to call in sick, stay in bed, and feel sorry for yourself? You could be under a witchcraft attack. Number three, do you feel like no one or nobody can possibly understand what you are going through and that nobody, no one, even cares anyway? You could be under a witchcraft attack. Number four, do you feel like everything you do is wrong, that no one appreciates you anyway? you could be under a witchcraft attack. Number five, are you getting offended with people? Are you touchy and fretting over what people are doing or saying? You could be under a witchcraft attack. Are you, are people rising up against you with false accusations and angry outbursts without any apparent justification. You could be under a witchcraft attack. Number seven, are you reasoning out your life to the point of fear or confusion? You could be under a witchcraft attack. Before I understood the power of witchcraft, I could answer yes to those questions when I was under attack. Witchcraft doesn't hit me that way anymore. In fact, I've learned to take authority over it, cast down imaginations, be slow to speak, and maintain my joy 
despite the exhaustion, low-grade headaches, and burning eyes. When that doesn't work, I've learned that when I've done all I can do to stand, I've learned to open my mouth and ask others to fight with me. Because one can put 1,000 to flight, and two can put 10,000 to flight, and I've learned, learned to get into the presence of God and pray in the Spirit. If we submit ourselves to God and resist witchcraft, it will eventually flee. Remember, when you've done all you can do, stand. Just keep standing. So this is the end. The article is called Three More Sure Signs Witchcraft is Attacking You. God bless.